Hey guys, it's Julian here. I'm super excited about this day because we got something I've been waiting for a long time. It got delayed and we finally got it. It's been a while. It's the Mavic Pro Platinum. I purchased this with my money and a little bit of help from my parents and I got their approval to buy it. And it's been a long time since I wanted to get a drone. I looked at the Phantom 3, the Spark, the Mavic, and finally this came out and we wanted to get this right away. So the difference between this and the Mavic Pro is that first thing, it has a different color. It's like a platinum kind of color. Also, it has a 30 minute flight time instead of a 27 minute flight time. So it's three minutes um, longer. Also, it's 60% quieter. I wouldn't notice because I don't have a Mavic, so I can't compare it. And also the propellers are new, but they are exchangeable, so you can put them on the old drone too. But um, they, the propellers may, uh, are better and more aerodynamic. And the price is also $100 more for this drone rather than the other one. Now for the movement I've been waiting for, we're going to open it up. So here we go. So here's the back, and in case you guys have any information, it has a lot of languages in case you can't read English. So we're going to open it up. I'm so happy. Come on. You gotta push in the handle to get out. Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, there it is. There it is. The drone, the remote, and some other stuff. So let's take out the drone itself. And it looks like it's already ready to go. It's so small. Here's my hands. It's about a little, a little longer than my hands, but it's, it's so small. And it's nice. Here's the camera sides and the back and here's the bottom sensors and other stuff so i'm gonna place this i don't want to break it um i'm just gonna film this okay go next up is the remote it's pretty cool um but these open up which is the antennas and a lot of controls to learn about and these open up so that you can put your phone in down here you pull out put your phone in there it's pretty, everything's compact and you can really like put everything into your pocket and that controls that along with the phone. Also, looks like we have a box here. This might be just some uh, instruction manuals in many different languages once again. This looks like our charging port for our batteries, which is just a simple charging box. And also over here, we got some more wires. Uh, this looks like an adapter for the the charging port, and this is a USB charging cable too. So that's pretty much everything that comes in the box. I'm just gonna make sure. Oh, we got a little bit more extra propellers. Take these out. Oh, these are the uh, um, the gold ones. So we have silver ones on right now, and here are the gold ones. If I take them all out. Yeah, so it comes with um, two sets of propellers, so you can use all those. And that will be very handy if one happens to break or something goes wrong, then you can just switch out the propellers and you're all good. So here's what came in inside of the paper package. So we have the um, safety guide, the battery guide, this quick start guide, and what is in the box. And we realized that we were actually missing something, and it's right here. We didn't know what it was because it kind of looks like pieces of paper, but inside of here comes these RC cable sliders, and also different adapters for what type of phone you have. So it depends what kind of phone you have so that you can have a direct connect rather than a Bluetooth connect so you can get better Wi-Fi signals. But under here is where they connect. So it goes in on this side and it goes right through and right now is in the Apple one. So it just plugs into the bottom of your phone and it goes right there. So before we get started with setting it up, we have to take off a few little plastic wraps. So there's one on the controller and one right here on the drone itself so now you can see the power now you can see the power button right there so the first thing that we have to do is download the app which we did and then second we have to check both the battery levels of the drone and the remote controller so to check you just push it once and it, and it's low right now so you push it again and it will go off in a moment and also we have to do that here too on the power button right here so we check once battery 48 percent so it's not very high so we're going to get these both charged one takes an hour and 20 minutes and the other takes two hours so we got to open up the drone to get out the battery so we got to open up the drone just a little bit we don't have to do it all and there's two little clamps on the sides and you just push those in 
and it comes right out and you just charge it in right here through this port so you just connect and you charge it through the wall so we can't fly it tonight because it's nighttime right now so we're gonna have to charge everything and we'll see you guys tomorrow but before we do that we're gonna unfold the whole drone but to do that we're gonna put the battery right back in so that you guys can get the full view so the way you do this is you want to pick it up and you want to grab these and they go all the way down and around and then the whole drone opens up and you just open up your propellers just a little bit on both sides, spread them out, spread them out like that and spread them out like this. And here it is, here's the drone itself. So we're back and we're finally outside and I finally get to use this drone. It's pretty sunny right now, but it's, there's like no wind, it's very, very light. So one thing that we have to do is take off the case for the, the gimbal. So we're gonna keep this on to help protect it. So I just push this button and boom, that comes off. And I'm gonna hand that to you. And then I have to take off this so that the gimbal is freely to move. So I'm just gonna give it a light squeeze and let go. And that comes off and here it is. And now you can see if I move it around, it goes with me and forward and back. So it's a three axis gimbal and it's pretty good. So we're gonna set this up, turn it on, and we're gonna get flying. So now we're gonna power everything on. So first we have to turn on the remote, which you're gonna tap once, check the battery, and then you're gonna hold it again, and it will turn on. So I have the remote on, so I'm gonna to connect to the German itself. So I'm just gonna tap once and hold down. And it's lighting up, it's moving the propellers. And then we also have to turn on the app. So the charging cord wasn't in all the way, so it took a little bit, and then we finally got it, and we just set it up. And it's just doing a fly safe database update, and it's and we're in beginner mode, so it only lets us go so far. So I won't, so I can learn because it's my first time flying this type of drone. So we're just gonna wait for this to download, and then we'll start flying. All right, here we go. My first time flying. We just got it calibrated. We're all ready to go, so we're gonna start the engines. Alright, here's our second try. We're out of the, the heavy grass, and so now we're going to try it again. So we're not really sure what it's recording because um, it's not really showing us, so we're just going to look up and try to follow it, so I'm going to fly it around for a little bit. I'm getting a view of the playground right now. So it's about 30 feet high right now, which isn't too bad. But it's really easy to fly. So I'm going to hit the home button and it's going to bring us home now. I think I have to hold it. It's going home. It's going to safely go back to where it was. Touchdown, we made it. First first flight is complete. 
So we're gonna try to see what's wrong with the camera now. So we've been trying a couple times to, to try to get the app to work, but the app's showing up, just it, the whole screen's green, so we're gonna have to go home and figure that out. But right now we have the drone up in the air, so we're just gonna play around with it for a little bit. And we don't really know what we're recording, so we're just gonna have to find out soon enough to see what we're gonna have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.